and welcome to Pantheon of the Geeks. This is a quick unboxing video for um, Imperial Assault. We've got three new packs today. Yay! We've got uh, Han Solo, we got Chewbacca, and we've got the Royal Guard Champion. Close can, can, can you say that again? Royal Guard. The Royal Guard Champion. Guard. 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 <laughs> well, Guard. bought herself a dice pack. Yeah. With the big rebel symbol on. Yeah. Boo. Oh, okay. I was just going with a theme here because they seem to have dice bags in the shop we go to. Um, yeah. But we've got one for Armada, so I thought we'd have one for um, Imperial Assault. Yeah, and if we get one, we can get the Mercury bag. <laughs> <laughs> right, cool. So, uh, yeah, we went to Harlequins. As Again. we were saying, we went to Harlequins. <laughs> yeah. That's not why there's a purple tablecloth here, purple's the Panty of the Geeks colours uh, as yeah. well. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's why that's there. Um, but yeah, I went to Harlequins, uh, can't recommend the store enough. Really good actually. They have loads of X-Wing um, and Imperial Assault stuff in. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got Armada box game if anyone's looking for it. They've at least got one on they the shelf. They have one copy on the shelf. They may have more. Yeah, they've got many more. All their interesting oh, they've got little games, games like... They've got Conquest yeah, as well. Yeah, Settlers of Catan. What would you call it? Is, was it... 40k? 40k? Warhammer 43? Never heard of it. Yeah. But um, yeah, they've got that game in too. The yeah, they've got a lot of interesting mm. little games that you probably haven't even seen but might look really interesting. Um, yeah. They do magic. Oh, well. magic cards as well. Yeah. So cool. So we'll be going there again to get more. But we're going to unbox these today and have a look at the figure inside. There's one in each and some cards. So I thought we'd just do them all together because uh, doing one might be a, a very short video. Bit boring yeah. as well. <laughs> so we'll start with uh shall we start with Harrison Ford? If you wish. Okay. Unless you have a pair of scissors. Yeah, you don't have to use scissors today. No knife. No I don't knife. No knife. So uh, good job you're doing it because I sliced myself on the uh, Imperial assault box. You slice yourself on a blunt piece of cardboard. Yeah. I was impressed. It, it it's hurting actually. It's like a slice right on the knuckle. And it hurts. Yeah, so children, if you're watching this, or adults, so it was Kale's as well, be careful when cutting things, even if it's cardboard. Yep. Oh, sharp plastic like this. So that's open. Right. Here we go. All the bits. So we've got a piece of packaging. We've got the model. Let's have a good look at that. That's pretty cool, actually. It is actually. His face is actually because not only you get these, the face they look nothing like. And I thought Luke did look a bit like Mark Hamill. And he does look a little bit like Harrison Ford. They've done a good job on sculpting the faces. I'll give them that for these models. Whoever else has said about them, you know, the faces done a damn good job. That's definitely Han Solo. There's no way. Yeah, that's yeah. Han Solo. And you've got some cards. So we have some cards. We have the, um, the rules, Han Solo Scoundrel, which gives a little mission in, like the conveyor has. There you go, Crawling Underground, so there's a little mission you can play. Oh, cool. Um, and then we've got uh, Imperial Entanglements. There you go. So you have that you can play through. Which is a cool thing you get with these cards, by the looks of it. Mm. Um, Obviously there's no hero card because this guy's just an ally. So in the campaign you just use him as an ally. But you can also use him in the skirmish game. Which we'll get to eventually. Mm -hmm. We've only uh, played the campaign game. Yeah, the very so far, short. Is, that video through. should already be up. So um, take a look at that if you want to see us play the campaign game. It's very short. That's why we played it with different characters just to show you the difference. Yeah. But um, these guys are just he uh, heroes which can be used as an ally in a campaign or in a skirmish. So we've got the Han Solo card, which is actually in the main deck as well. And then we've got Imperial Entanglements. There's that card for the mission. And you get the two other cards though. And then we get the, uh, I don't know what these are called, Commander Upgrade cards. Slippery Target times three, two even. Reposition. So these are all for use actually in the game. Inspiring Speech. And then we've got Disable, I make my own look, and that's very Han Solo. And a quick draw holster, which is a P3 
piece of oh, so this piece of gear, but it's a reward that one. So that's cool. So that is Han Solo's pack. Like I said that's his card, which is actually in the main set as well. Because all these are in the main set, you get little counters to represent all these. So you don't have to buy these miniatures if you're just playing the main game. You don't have to do it. But these are optional, if you will, and you get an extra mission with it, an extra card with it. But this is this is a duplicate card, I believe. Having looked at it recently, yes, it is. It's the same card, so it tells you how many points is worth twelve, and then obviously there's one in the unit and so on. Those are his special abilities: return fire, distracting, and cunning. Which is really cool. Mm -hmm. See that on there? Let you read that for yourself. I actually like that. That although you get them in the main box set. It is respect. worthwhile actually getting the model and the extra cards because you get extra missions with it and special cards that pertain to, to him. To be fair, I mean, I know I'm about low quality plastic and stuff, but like I said, the detail on his face is amazing. Because it's. I've seen so many models that they've done of Star Wars, even. Yeah. If it, any, like <laughs> Kenner or any, even the busts, they don't really look like the character. He's pretty damn close. Looking like Harrison Ford. I'm impressed. So uh, yeah, I like that. It's well worth the cost. Mm -hmm. um, Chewbacca. This is the loyal Wookiee. I'm just gonna have a look at his face and should be. Yeah, let's chop up Chewbacca's box then. So we got these two together because they're kind of a team. And then Claire bought the Royal Guard because she likes the Royal Guard. We'll be getting some more in the future, next month probably. Mm -hmm. um, well, you want general advice, don't you? I want general advice, not Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop? Yeah. IG88. IG88. So there is Chewbacca. Well, <laughs> that's pretty good. And he is so cool, just looking at that now. <laughs> that's proper to scale with him as well, because he's huge compared to Han Solo. He's got his bow caster. There's a little bit of cleaning up to do. There's a line there just on his head. Oh. That's not too bad at all. That. And that's a really cool model. So, I like that. Yeah. It's a bit like the one that you get in the uh, pack. That, except he's got like a vibro that's about, That must be about right. If you look at those two together, that must be the... The scale. He looks bigger than the guy with the vibro axe, actually. He or probably chunkier. is. He probably is. Sorry, Chewy. I'm not suggesting you to go on a diet. <laughs> cool. Awesome. So uh, let's have a look at his cards. He does his front and fold back. I'll have, I'll have a look at that. I'm sure what's on that. So we've got um, Royal Wookiee. We've we got looking at me. We have Prison Break. Prison oh, Break. Oh, Imperial, Imperial Labor, Labor Camp. Camp. Prison, Prison Break and Infiltration. What's that's Chewbacca breaking out or breaking in? Mm. And on the back we have... If anyone's played Knights of the Old Republic, which is one of my all-time favourite games, the first one, not the MMO, the very first Knights of the Old Republic, there's a bit on Kashyyyk where the Wookiees are imprisoned and everything. Oh. So Wookiees are notoriously getting imprisoned and they hate it. That's mm -hmm. the handcuff reference in Star Wars. It's excellent. Yeah, so so this is celebration. celebration. What's that? Celebration? I don't know. It must know. be celebration if you've got Imperial Troops to arm you. And an Exe. You've got one of those Nexes. Next to you. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Cool. That's good. So, oh, it tells you down there what map tiles you need. I didn't notice that. Oh, yeah, it does that in the main game. That's as well. pretty good. Yeah. So, we've got the Chewbacca card. If you haven't seen it already, there he is. You can see that on there. Point 0.15 points. He's more expensive than Han Solo. But I think you'd have to run these two guys together because it's just classic. Mm. Unless you go to the bring out Yoda later, he puts you back with Yoda. Put you back, how much do I have? Um, Slam and Protector. He's a guardian. He's a guardian. He's a guardian. Which is cool. Which makes you like him all the more. And then we've got Celebration, which is the mission you showed people. We've got Infiltration and Prison Break. There we go. And then we have his cards, which is Wookiee Rage. <laughs> Wookiee Rage. Wookie Hole, I mean Raw. That's a place. If anyone was wondering, no. I wasn't being rude. They do nice cheese though. We do. <laughs> if you, oh 
yeah. <laughs> which we discovered not so long ago. Yeah, yeah we're being serious though. Um, if you've suffered three or more damage, choose up to three addressing hostile, hostile figures. Those figures become stunned. That's pretty good. Yell basically and stun everyone. <laughs> that's ace. Uh, hold ground. That's a proper guardian as well. That's like playing uh, the actual guardian. <laughs> Raw. Stun everyone. <laughs> so the end of the round, small hostile figures cannot voluntarily exit spaces. Yeah, so you can basically taunt and lock people down. It is in every sense a guardian. Adrenaline, debts repaid, and intimidation is his reward card. There we go. So that's cool. I'm liking that. I'm liking both of them. Interesting. Cool. Very cool. So now we have the Imperial Guard. Well, Royal Guard, shall we say. <laughs> Champion. 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 Out. <laughs> it's bent to have to know that. You've been so careful up to now. Fell out before I stopped cutting that. Um, you've left him in there. Right, him. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Yeah, you know. I should pass this guy to you. Oh, he's cool. He's gonna do more. Awesome. Show, oh. show the people. Should. There you go. He looks awesome. Blades on him. Kind of reminds me of a cross. You know, um, <laughs> you know your uh, clothes got a lot of the rings, Harad army. Oh yeah. And that's what he's reminding me of, just stands. Just the stands to So I cross between Darth Maul and the Harad. Harad, and yeah. Then, and then he's got the, the guard helmet. That's a cool model. Actually. It is actually. It's, uh, that looks cooler than I thought it did on the picture. To be honest, have you? He's got much wider stance. It seemed like a two D picture. Didn't look like God. Yeah, I'm quite impressed by that. Yeah. There he is. That's pretty cool. So uh, there's the... The uh, component right here. Yeah. So here we have... Um, he has... Qat Space Station, Skirmish Map. Data Heist and Incoming Transmission. Cool. And there's yeah. the corresponding cards. I'll show you them at the same time. Data Heist. Yeah. Transmission. And on the back we have... Infection, infection is it? Infection. Infection card is there. There you go. Yeah. So, if so yeah. We've also got the influence cards for the Empire, which are there, because they don't get the uh, same kind of cards as the influence cards. There's the Rogar Champions card if you haven't already seen it. It's got Brutality, which allows him to perform two attacks, which is awesome. Can cause bleed, pierce, and extra damage. Mm. He gets three cold attacks, two defense, speed six because he's well fast. Mm. That's one of the fastest in health 13, still sturdy health. And there he is 15 points, same as Chewbacca. Mm. So those two are meant to be evenly matched. <laughs> so that would be an interesting one to face off. It would be, yeah. Yeah. So parting blow. Parting below, counter attack, cripple, bodyguard, I'm not singing, bodyguard, still not singing, and flurry of blades. Mm. Which is for a two pointer, that one. And he performs three attacks, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Oh, nice. Cool. So, um, that's our first. Three models, extra models from the box, than, other than the box set, shall I say. Mm -hmm. I'm impressed. Very impressed. I'm keen to get the other models now as well. Yeah. yeah I'm keen really cool. to paint them all. Yeah, so all these are definitely going to get painted. Chewie's definitely going to get painted. Lucky time. <laughs> so cool, so thanks for, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, oh, yeah. We've enjoyed seeing these three new models. There's probably going to be more to come, probably next month, for these guys. Yeah. And if you've not seen the campaign video, please have a take a look at that. We'll probably do some skirmish videos as well, uh, depending on when this goes out. Um, cool. Yeah. So it's a Star Wars Fest at the moment with Armada <laughs> and Imperial Assault. Maybe even X-Wing in the future, who knows? Maybe. 
maybe. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot if you do. If you want to see some more videos, please leave in the comments anything you want us to uh, put in or anything you'd like to say about the game or anything. We would quite like completely read in your comments. It's cool. Mm -hmm. And um, cool. So take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And see you soon. Bye. Bye.